This time we have some examples on the concentration percentage, the molarity and normality. So uh, questions concerning such principles could be like this. Uh, we have for example 20 grams of salt and 400 grams of water and we need to know the percent of salt in the solution so what we do is we add the 20 grams of salt and we divide it by the whole weight of the solution so we have 20 plus 400 grams we get 20 over 420 grams and we have to multiply this by a hundred so we'll get um, 1 over um, 21 multiplied by a hundred so this is the ratio for um, the salt in the whole solution. For the molarity or the normality we can get simple questions like how many milliliters uh, do we need of um, for example sodium hydroxide Three molar to neutralize two milliliters of hydrochloric acid to molar. So, in case we have the the same um, measurement method here, which is the molarity in both the acid and the base we can solve it very simply what we do is we write this equation the volume of the acid multiplied by the concentration of the acid equals the volume of the base multiplied by the concentration of the base and by the concentration we mean the molarity or the normality so then we plug in the values so we have 2 milliliters multiplied by 2 molar equals the volume of the base which is unknown multiplied by 3 molar so this will go on this side will be divided by the 2 by 2 which is 4 and we have 3 so the volume of the base will equal 4 over 3 which is 1.333 milliliters the normality question will be just the same like this but instead of using mol molars we can use normals so if I say 4 n and 3 n here I just changed the values here for the concentration so here we have 3 for the acid and here we have 4 for the base so 4 and 3 it will be 6 divided by 4 so 6 divided by 4 have 3 divided by 2 which is 1.5 So 1.5 milliliters of four normal sodium hydroxide can neutralize two milliliters of three normal hydrochloric acid. These are very simple questions, but um, it just gets a little bit more complex when the methods of measurement which are used are different. For example, if I want to know the volume of the sodium hydroxide used 
and I for this sodium hydroxide is 3 molar and I have uh, for example 5 milliliters of hydro hydrochloric acid and it's let's say 2 normal it's too normal. So at this point, or let's work with sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. So at this point, we have to write the chemical equation and balance it because we will return everything to its basic quantities, which are just weights in grams, and then we convert the weights into. Um, the molar or the normal aspects. So for the neutralization we have to know that there's always an acid reacting with a base in order to get salt and water. So the acid here is the sulfuric acid and the base is the sodium hydroxide to give a salt and water. We can notice here that sulfuric acid is actually divalent, so it needs two protons. So at this point, we can't just use one sodium ion, we need two. So we'll have two moles of sodium hydroxide in order to be efficient to react with the sulfuric acid to perform the neutralization reaction. So the salt that will result will be Na2SO4 and accordingly we will have um, two hydroxyl groups and two hydrogen um, or two protons remaining here this will give us actually two molecules of water with a total number of four hydrogens which is pretty um, much that we have with two here and we have two here because it's two moles so as we check the numbers of atoms and molecules and everything is okay so the equation is alright this is the very very most important step everything depends on it so you have to make sure that the equation is balanced correctly and then you work out the ratios so you have to know the molecular mass of sodium hydroxide and this will be we have 23 for sodium plus 16 for oxygen plus 1 for hydrogen this gives us 40 grams so 40 grams is one mole. 40 grams is one mole. And for sulfuric acid, we have one for hydrogen, and then multiplied by two because there are two of them, and 32 for sulfur. And for oxygen atoms, we have 16 multiplied by four. This will give us a total of 98 grams, and this is also for just one mole. So if we translate these um, formulas here in grams, this means that we need 98 grams of the sulfuric acid to react with 2 moles of sodium hydroxide, which will be 80 grams, in order to give us this neutralization reaction and this is the ratio that we need so after that we will go and check our givens so we have five milliliters of two normal solution of um, sulfuric acid so how much does one liter of to a normal solution of sulfuric acid contain of that sulfuric acid and then we will know how much grams that are found in the five milliliters and by using this we will know how much milliliters do we need from this so one liter will contain because this is a two normal so one normal 
basically is 98 divided by 2, which is 49. So 2 normal will be 49 multiplied by 2 will give us 98 grams. So 1 liter of a 2 normal solution will contain 98 grams of sulfuric acid. So 5 milliliters will contain, well, so 5 multiplied by 98 divided by 1,000. So this will be 490 divided by 1,000. So we'll have 0 0.49 grams. So now we can just remove all of this and put 0 0.49 grams. So in this ratio we have 0 0.49 grams here. In order for this reaction to be done sufficiently we will again cross multiply to know the amount of grams that we have here. So 0 0.49 multiplied by 80 and divided by 98. So this is like 49 multiplied by 80 and we have 100 here. I just drop down the decimal and this is multiplied by 98. This is half so it's uh, actually will be 80 multiplied by 200 and we have here um, 2 over 5 which is 0 0.4 so we will have 0 0.4 grams so 0 0.49 grams will need 0 0.4 grams in order for, ne for the neutralization to happen now for the final step, we have our solution, so for one liter it contains three moles and the three moles actually equals 120 grams, but we just need 0 0.5 grams, so how many milliliters do we need? And this would be 0 0.4 multiplied by um, thousand milliliters like this and then we divide it by 120 this will be 400 divided by 120 so that we finally get 10 over 3 which is 3.333 so finally we will need 3 and a third of a milliliter in order to react with 5 milliliters in order to make this reaction. So that was a complex example concerning the uh, using of different um, methods of molarity and normality instead of using the same method. I guess using the same method is much much uh, more easy. And uh, I hope it was clear for you. So this is it for today and until next time I thank you for watching and see you.